And so let's get into some coding here. Let's code the LED. So we were able to create a simple circuit in the previous step just to make sure we understood how the three volt and the ground and the wiring work with the breadboard to get an LED just to be on a very simple circuit. But now we want to code it. We want to be able to be in control of when the light turns on, when it turns off, how fast, and those types of things. So we're going to head up here to the Raspberry. We have already installed Scratch 3.0, so we're going to head down to Scratch 3. We're going to let this load up here. And one of the things we got to do is we have to add an extension to this Scratch. This is going to allow us to get some coding blocks that allow us to program the GPA opens, the general processing in and out pins of the Raspberry Pi. And while this is loading, just remember there is 40 of these pins. Um, some allow us to plug in whatever, some are for ground, some are for power, we got the 3 volts, we have the 5 volts, all that good stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just make this a little bit larger here. Okay. And so what we want to do is we're going to go down here to the extensions. I'm going to click that and you see many of the, the things that you've already used before if you're a Scratch 3.0 user. But we want to add this. Raspberry Pi GPIO. So let's go ahead and add that. And you're going to see that it gives us a few more blocks that we didn't have before. And so what we want to do is we're going to head here to our events. And let's just use the green flag when the green flag is clicked for now. Eventually you can manipulate this to make it whatever you want. We're going to head here to these new blocks that we received and we're going to use this set GPIO pin all right, to high. That means it's going to be on. Think about binary. High is like a 1, a low is a 0, it's on or it's off. And for me, I have my particular LED light plugged into pin 16. So you're going to have to look at your board, look at the chart, figure out what you have it plugged into. It doesn't have to be 16. It's whatever you've got. All right, and when we turn, hit this green click, we should see the light go on. Let's take a look here and uh, see what happens. All right, so now that we got that going, we want to be able to turn the light off. Right now, it's always going to set it to high. And so we can just add some more blocks here. I'm going to go here to control. I'm going to put in a weight block here. And then I'm going to add this, and we're just going to set the GPIO pin 16 to low. And it should turn it off after one second, if we do this correctly. All right, so now when I run this, and then we want to add a, another weight in here. And then let's throw this in a forever. So as long as it's doing this, we should have it just blinking on and off. And there we go. On, off. Back and forth, just like so. And so this is just to get you thinking about how we can do some coding and things like that. Um, as we look at our, our breadboard, just with our simple LED that we have. We can see that our code there is allowing us to control um, the actual LED.